Okay, well, let me, um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and hear from um, Brianna. I'm going to give you a chance to respond to both of their requests. To and just get everything out on one side, and then I'll give you a chance to give me your side with regard to whether it's so Brianna, tell me, um, you don't have to rehash what um, Britain has gone through, but I guess um, what um, conduct are you alleging that Mr. Newsberger has directed at you that is what you to protect? Well, I really don't know this man. I don't know Scott Gutenberger hardly at all. My last um, interaction with him in any way was over a year ago, December 2014. Um, I got a creeped out feeling by a uh, creeped out feeling by him. Um, I found him video recording and recording me up in my bedroom area of our home in Texas. Objection! And that is a lie. And that was the lie. I told him that I thought he was basically a creeper. I called the police because he was recording me, uh, video recording, recording, and um, attempting to take things out of uh, the, our home. And I said, you know. This is what happened. I called the police, and um, that was my last interaction with him. I said I never wanted to contact him again, and I've not contacted him um, since that day over a year ago. That's December 2014. Correct. Did you tell him at that time you didn't want to have Yes, I did. And I've honored that. I have not contacted him <laughs> at all. Um, what my twin sister said is is true. I wanted to um, add the part that pertains to me the most and why I feel like I am threatened with harm. Um, Scott Gutenberger here has continuously posted things all over the internet with the caption, Brianna Dean files fake rape reports against men. And then he continuously adds a tagline to all of our contacts and to strangers on the internet saying something to the effect of, so let's teach her a lesson. Brianna Dean, women like Brianna Dean need to be punished. The Dean twins need to be removed. And he is obsessed with this idea that I need to, I deserve punishment because I somehow um, file false police reports against men. I have never filed a false police report against Scott or any other man on this planet. This is a lie. Brianna, you're unbelievable. Unreal. Still in the house. Okay, I will keep my mouth shut. You need to keep on the shit. Oh, my point. I'm protecting myself. I, that's not no, a lie. I'm no, I'm not. I have a threat from your dad. I would like to talk with the cops right now. Please have let me, me. Let me talk to the cops. Let me talk to the cops. Scott, I just don't want you in our house. Brandon, give me the phone. Give me the phone. Don't come near me. Give me the phone. Don't come near me. You're lying to the cops. cops. My name is Brianna. Oh, Dane. have him come. Have him come, Brianna. You're just going to let him sit here. Are you kidding me, Brianna? He hasn't been here for more than two seconds. I asked you. You don't get to this. I live here, Brianna. Brianna. just sitting there and she's saying that she wants him here. She's on the lease. I'm on the lease. He's not. Sure. What? It's gonna get worse. What? Why would it get worse for your dad? I won't. But why won't? Why would it get worse if I bring up your dad's threat? Because it's all about something that you do something that the dad doesn't like. So just stop. Oh, I was just letting her know that I have it still. And that this can, I mean, this can get worse if she wants to lie to the cops. I cannot believe it. It's like... We've got, you know, we, we're the ones that have, have the evidence here. If she wants to lie to the cops, we can, you know, we can play her game. But unfortunately, what we have is recordings. Mm -mm. But I won't, I won't mention uh, your dad's thread. I wish I would have got that blow up on, the, on recording. That scream. Oh, you didn't? I didn't know. I went in there real quick and she walked in as I walked in. She's a drug addict. She's a drug addict. 
we've been gone for four days five five days and you help me carry in all of our shit and she goes off like that mm -hmm. looks like they came and fixed the fireplace yeah the keys in there at least well i had called about that should you call the landlord after this yeah i will because this all started because i plugged in the router back back to the wall right she just owes me so much money for back rent and she keeps saying she'll pay for half of internet and the deal was that whoever got the master the other one got both of those upstairs rooms so technically you were in my room oh yeah interesting until your brother moves in and that's his room so what happened you were up there just getting it out she comes in and is like don't touch it yeah i went into uh she would noticed that i plugged the internet because her internet dropped right and then i went in to go get a picture of the access code Mm -hmm. And as I bent down, I originally didn't even touch the thing. As I bent down to take the picture, she ripped it out and uh, s just screamed at the top right. of her lungs. That's and, then, and then that was it. Yeah, yeah, you were in. And then I just unhooked the uh, the phone cord. Hmm? Do not say much when they come. Let us hit yourself in the Don't say anything. Okay. Will you be my lawyer? <laughs> she's unreal. Yeah, she is unreal. She's, a, she's really a lunatic. I'm not, I'm not going to use any language. I'm, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm going to look at you. If you tell me I can answer, I'm just going to answer that question. And that is it. Right. But you look at me and you tell me yes or no to answer, okay? Because I don't know what... So, you hear yourself? So go with that. You're not saying anything. Mm -hmm. Do I have to say, like, plead the fifth to them so they know I'm quiet? Or do I have to... Can I just stay quiet? Is that disrespectful? I'm not trying... I don't want to be disrespectful here either. Should I say plead fifth or I need no. to ask... No, just say you can. Should I refer to you as, like my? No, just oh, let me cut in. Just let me cut in. Okay. Should I ask when you're going home? Just say I've been trying to figure it out. Say I'm planning on going home the thirty first. Then I'll just be crazy. I'm not sure. Say we've we've paid for hotels. Make her comfortable. Mm -hmm. We went for Christmas with the same time. I could tell her. I, I could tell him. Well, I couldn't even. I couldn't get on my computer to really do it until this thing blew up. So. I'll just say, soon. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of here. Oh, man. What do I do if your dad calls? Me, again. Put it to voicemail, again? Yeah. All right. He's already called me twice. Has he? Yeah. Wow. You need to move, Scott. Scott. You need to move on everything. You can't please, 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 you can make this right thing. You do want to date. Do you want to date? Do you want to date? Seriously. Do you want to date? Do you? Yeah. Yes, do you? I'm just, usually I get left alone. So, I do. I just want to make sure that you know what you're going into. I love you. You know? I love you. I like, I enjoy everything that we on the trips that we've taken, the plane ride, you know, all of it. So I do. I want to make sure that you do. Yeah. Poor Kathy. She like writes us like it's fate. You twist for me. Someone who's like tries to be so nice. I need some water. Let me get you some water. Can you get me some water? Yeah, sure. Remember, if the F word comes up, right? I also have the very first time I recorded, I got her saying that too. Yeah. Why don't you tell them that? I'm, I'm gonna try and, I don't wanna say anything in this. I'm already too far in the middle of this right. stuff. She's just using me. She's just lying on the she wants to play with. I'm not on the lease, but this is her, her place. I'm gonna say that. Very sad. Um, not much is going on. I have. Did you call? Or did she call? call? Okay. Thank you. I'm not comfortable with this individual in my home, and I've asked him to leave. Okay. Uh, you said that y'all are both on the lease, correct? Right. Correct. Right. Then she can have whoever she wants here. Even though he assaulted me. Assaulted you, Brianna. Assault you. Right before Christmas, and just now upstairs in the bedroom. Brianna, you right. something on me. You can't lie to a cop just because. My father's on the phone. He was there on the He grabbed something under your hand. Yes, he was taking her modem. He's trying to. Brianna, that's my modem. That's my modem. And he did. I watched him. 
done so. She came into my it's home. It's my room. Does my home. He, he's not on the lease. Grabbing something out of your hand is not assault. He's not on the lease. You are in my home. I, I understand, but if what's your name? Brittany. If Brittany chooses to have a guest who conducts himself like a nut job, he, Brianna, what if he breaks me? She's dead because she's on the lease. That's the way it works. Now, if he would have raped you, as you say, he would have a protective order against him and he wouldn't be allowed within so many feet of you. But that's not the case. So I have to wait for him to, like, actually beat me. If he's screaming in my face, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I have to actually wait. She, that's she had correct. Brandy, because you're trying to throw him from upstairs and I, I was trying to stop him. And oh my gosh. Yeah, there's, no, there's nothing you can do. I mean, he's psycho. He has a record. I'm scared of him. If this is 50% house. her house, right? So she can have I don't want her to leave. I just want him to leave. She can have whoever she wants here. I can't force him to leave. I don't have to say, I mean, I don't feel safe with him. Then leave, Brianna. Me. You had your right friend living here. He's been nothing, but he said... He if said, you don't feel safe with him, you can once leave. Home I understand that. Okay, I'm going to give you all your options. You can leave, or you can go try to get a restraining order, but you have to go through the county to do that. So he gets to stay here in my home, even though he's not on the lease. That is correct. And I have to leave my home. That's what you're telling me. I didn't say you have to leave. Or I, I said that's your option. I'm not comfortable with. I said I cannot make him leave because she has every right to have whoever she wants here. So how do I get a restraining order? You go through the county. And how do I do that? Justice of the Peace. Williamson County. You have to talk to Williamson County. A police officer in Williamson County? A sheriff mm -hmm. in Williamson County. Okay. The counties are the ones that do restraining orders. Because it's a civil process. Okay. We can't continue to live together. I mean, yeah. You. She She barged into my room and there's a, a dent in my door if you want to take a picture while you're here. You're, you're, you're if y'all are both on the lease, then y'all are both responsible for the damage. <laughs> right. I understand. So right. that's between you and her. So it, you're saying I either go to the sheriff to get a restraining order. Will they give me one? I mean, uh, depending on the history between you two, you have to talk to them. I don't know, he's just a guy who keeps showing up everywhere. He's, <laughs> okay. he's my boyfriend, she's just decided that we've been here, we left Brittany for days. You didn't talk to us on Christmas because he's psycho and you guys Because you had said you were uncomfortable with having an overnight so guest, so we just got it out of town here. so she could be here by herself. And, and then the second you walk in, I have a Brittany, he's helping with my bag upstairs. She's actually calling the police. Or identical That's not what happened, my dad is on the phone. Okay. This guy's psycho. She's on Like I said, she has every right to have whatever guest she wants and that applies to you as well. Okay, I can't make anybody leave if they're a guest of one of the people that live here. That's which is why your boyfriend was just here for a whole month and I was great. I said nothing. Don't lie to a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go to the mailbox. He had so, mail in there. To get this individual out of my home, I have to go to Williamson County and talk to a sheriff and explain well, why I'm scared of the people. Piece. Yes. Can I call or do I have to go down? You can probably call, but they're going to make you go there at some point. That's not anything we do as the police department because it's a civil issue. So that's they're going to know all the answers. I don't know anything about it. Okay. I mean, okay. that sucks. I can't. I'm not comfortable in my own home. And I've asked this individual to leave. And he's refused. And he did. We were gone for days. You could have the house yourself. So, Dad, okay. Thank you. I'm not. Okay. I'm sorry to waste your time. Well, I actually need to talk to you. Just sitting here. Uh, on a separate issue. Do you want to step out front? Sure. Um, like I explained to her, you have every right to have whatever guest you want here. You know, granted, it's putting a lot of strain on y'all's relationship. I've I been here tell. five minutes. So. She's something that is really, really deep. I don't know the resolution. Um, right. But very as far sad. as we are concerned, if you are on the lease, you can have whatever guest you want. Right. Yeah. Very sad that my own twin would call the cops. Very, very sad. You just might, you know, you've heard what she said. You might want to. He was helping me I bring in my dad. I was terrified of this woman. I mean, she slammed her hand on the door five days ago. She so we left. He's drugs. helped me carry my bag. We let her have the house to herself for Christmas. He's helped me carry my bags. And she calls you guys. I can't believe it. Very uh, sad. Like I explained. Her, yeah. yeah. I talked to all both. Very, very sad. I explained that they're both on the lease so they can have, if she invites him in, that's her right. Um, but, you know, she's making accusations, so it's something that you have to decide is it a good idea for you to be here? Because then right. she's going to make some, maybe a false report or some other solution. Well, we'd probably have to take action if it was a false report. Some. But then it's, you know, who has any sort of proof? And right. There is just her pain. Just unreal. Sorry. So, but that's where we're at right now. Unbelievable. Yeah. I don't really have a solution for you guys. Yeah. Okay. I have never filed a false police report against Scott or any other man on this planet. This is a lie that the Scott Newton murder has been possible to incite others to harm me. That's how I feel. He, is, he has had hundreds, if not thousands, of views on these messages. Um, basically, it upsetting people thinking that I'm, I filed false rape reports against men. He also has called me um, a drunk, a drug, ad a drug addict. He says that my father and I were plotting attempted murders. Um, anything you can think of to incite others to harm me, he has done. The most recent was this morning. I would like to show you. He has now um, 
posted a um, like a MP3 posting saying um, rate me Dean twin uh, rate me uh, by the Dean twins. It's a rate me Nirvana song, and it says the Dean twins. Brianna tries to file a fake rape police report. Rape me. This isn't me. This is a new monster. Um, he's admitted to Brittany, and she um, said earlier that he was the one who was put, who was impersonating the Dean twins on YouTube, and he was the one with that tagline, Dean twins. Brianna tries to file a fake rape police report. He's put that all over the internet. He's admitted that. We have that in writing, and it's the exact same thing um, that he's done for months. Every day. I'm not every the only one week, with that. Every month. Okay. And so you you also left your residence and something like that? I did. I'm honestly we've gone in hiding and I hate to say that because I'm, I think it gives him pleasure and pride. He has basically made us go in hiding. We are scared to death every single day. Um, it is our entire lives have been disrupted. Um, and our chief officer at work is here today to testify to that. Um, it has been nonstop. And we don't deserve it, and it has to stop. Mr. Hubert, do you have any questions for Where? You you got this? I mean, this is the university. What is that? Well, that's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah, it's been. And, Your Honor, I'm happy to show you. I don't know if Brittany did. I think she may have, but um, in this binder, we've got plenty of printouts of the exact same thing um, from the screen names that he admits to posting. Sure. The president of Sweetbriar College is one that he sent us. Um, the Facebook post starts here and goes to the page that you're holding. Here's another one. This is Jeff Medford. So you're contending that's him? Yes. yes, and he's admitted that's him. In writing, we have that. Mm -hmm. The shared account with me, so I'll always sweep by alumni. I, if that's true, Your Honor, I think we need to know about that for our safety as well. You, you know, everyone's trying to you guys are moved. It scares me when he says things like, I'm we'll working 15 from the to job. Get we'll move from the job. Your Honor, after um, an investigation by the Sweet Fire Police, because of the constant harassment, stalking, calling um, Sweet Briar community members by Scott Gutenberger. Scott Gutenberger was not only issued a standing order by Amherst, but the Sweet Briar Police did a no contact order. They said um, in this letter that they conduct an investigation and that he is not to contact us, he is not to come onto Sweet Briar's property, and it was all after listening to messages and threats and posts on social media that were determined to be Scott Gutenberger. Um, he's had others, third parties, contact me to deliver messages from him. Um, multiple. I've lost count. Um, I've had people come to me in person. Um, we've had, it's been every day. 
every day but something called, new. Has he called your phone or texted you? Um, he's, he called, um, yes, the phone that's sitting in a tin can. He called that. Um, we might have had a screenshot of that before. And, and he texted me vulgar, hateful messages about myself and my twin sister after she told him, please do not contact me ever again. He also, we had to go file um, a, a violation of the first preliminary restraining order because he contacted us through first parties and that was granted. Third party, sorry. I've had some hang, I, I, I can't say for sure. I've had some hang ups like he was calling my twin sister's office line and he would have our receptionist try to transfer calls to our line. I had some hang ups. I have not traced those calls. I cannot say for sure. I believe yes. Is there anything else you want to Just that I, this man has escalated. I mean, I, I don't know him, but his behavior has escalated to the point where I don't know what he'll do next if he is not stopped. Um, it's it's not stopping on its own. This isn't a guy who this isn't like a you know a guy who had a blow up on one weekend and then realized he was acting a fool. This is a grown 35 year old man 33. who continues to harass. Excuse me, 33 year old man then who continues to harass, stalk, threaten, and I fear for my life and the life of my sister and my family. Um, I mean, can you provide the proof of the phone calls? I have a whole binder still getting of today? No, that you're still getting today. I think what I Because I haven't, I haven't called since the first Wait. preliminary order went out. So all of this um, is you, isn't it? You and the Is that you? Is that you, Scott? Out. This is me. Okay, so this that's you. And so all of that. What you just said was that I'm still contacting you at your work. So can you produce the proof for that? I'm not still contacting these individuals. I have not contacted them in a long time. Any other questions you want to ask? Uh, I, I do have a couple questions about the Nirvana song. I, that's just not me. I don't know how. That's a Nirvana song. That is their song. Scott, it says the Dean Twins. I don't know Nirvana, so um, I, I don't think I've ever met Nirvana. Do you, Britt? I don't mm. think so. But so this, the, the fact that um, someone is posting a rate me the Dean Twins, which is something he's admitted to being the one to do, um, is very concerning and scares me to death. And the fact that it continues to happen to this day just shows the escalation of harm and that he has absolutely no regard for the law, the restraining orders that we've already issued against him or anything else but so himself. I've got contact. Uh, so